you don't need to say it in public, but I mean, you would think they would want to keep their name and a little bit of clear. Well, you know, it's been it's been going on. It's nine years ago. Blackstone had its high profile unpleasantry. Yeah. Don't want to have that again. Um, we we we'll, if this continues by the end of the week, certainly a letter goes out and proceed with legal action. That's what this council's going on record as. Correct. Previous councils have gone on record as saying it's our citizens' money. That's right. Street improvement projects. You've got a. Uh, we have a cost estimate for curb and gutter along the west side of South Main. And the new estimate is at your desk. Sadly, the estimate is higher. The DDOT requires administrative fees to be paid. How nice of him. Yeah, nice of we have submitted this as a preliminary application of the DDOT permit. Before we file the final application, I believe it's due in August or in September. Um, well, I mean, I marked several things by looking it over it this weekend. VDOT review fees of $57,000. You got relocate road signs for $9,000. And a materials and notebook for 8500 I mean, 12 signs. But I have to give them an estimate. And this is B&B's best case estimate, or their best effort at finding an estimate of what the costs are. What is a materials notebook? If it's a VDOT project, they require you to have a materials notebook for... Uh, submittals, uh, shop drawings. And that is $8,500. Can we apply for two tobacco commission drawings? <laughs> for a notebook. <laughs> we got projects increased cost. I do. Do we require the materials notebook? No, we don't require it. Oh. <laughs> this is the west side. This is the, 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 uh, the goodwill side. Correct. One thing you said the last meet, uh, a couple meetings ago that just haunts me, and I know the answer is right away, but I would hate for this council to get a grant and to build what you call the sidewalk, sidewalk, sidewalk to nowhere where people still walk on the grass on the other side because they don't want to go have to cross Main. That's, that worries me. But I also know you've got no place to go in front of it's Clay's a noble project and other and places. I'm just telling you guys, and I don't mean to pick at you, but you can't afford $800,000, which is what we're asking. V dot to give us 800 and you put up 800 You ain't got 800 But I can tell you what, if there's any project in Blackstone that must be done. This should be the one. one. Not like this, though. You don't have the 800 to draw. I can't put the money together right now. So what I recommend to you is we can still apply if you guys want to. My recommendation is let's see if we can figure out a way to get these costs down without materials, notebooks, and administrative fees. From be that 7% on administrative fees, that's 100000 bucks. $100,000 for them. But isn't there a lot of stuff on here that we could do? Like relocating a road sign that's for twelve nine thousand dollars We handle that. Right. This is too expensive. You can't oh. afford it. That can be, can be kind of to our match. We There's need to no take other, some of this stuff for no our other match. Grant besides the We can apply for a smart scale project and a six year plan. Jack Hodge put monies in, and we've never been successful. Outside of VDOT, there's nothing. I mean, no offense, and I'm not going to bring up a bad subject again, but we just voted to apply for $800,000 for Tobacco Commission. Does that figure ring a number? That's what we need. So, I mean, yeah. Well, someone's going to get killed on that road. You go Especially at them. night. Sometimes at night they're walking right on the white line, right on the pavement. You got a guy in a wheelchair riding back and forth down there in the dark. Yeah. What do you yeah, want to I don't think he'll use the sidewalk. No. Put up. I think he'll stay on the road. He, he will. He will. Yeah, what? He grow up. Yeah. I think he will. <laughs> you need final. You need final. You want final authorization from council tonight? No, you, wait, you wait till next month. Y'all want to wait till next month on this? What would the cost be worth it for the, uh, for the other side of the road? I think it was four and a half million. That was to do everything, yeah. That was moving the utilities on the other side and all the overhead is on the other side. Right. Very steep in front of uh, Clay's Garden Center that had additional handrails and retaining walls and all that. That's why we picked the cheap side. I tell you, you wouldn't think about it, but the, the minute you hit the town limits of crew, there's a sidewalk on the right that goes all the way through till you get down there to Big T. Mm -hmm. On the right. Yep. It does. It does. In the town, if you remember, we wrote some grants for North Main Street. Years ago, I wrote them for North Main Street from Apostolic Holiness Church going out of town. As a TAP 21 project, the same time we wrote Church Street where somebody had been hit by a car. Yeah. And for some reason, and I, after I had left, I don't know, but there was no sidewalk built on North Main. It was built on Church, but not on North Main. And the town was granted a, a TAP 21, what they used to call enhancement grant. Gosh, I didn't know that. 
Yeah. Oh, we need to hold off on this. All right, let's hold off on the South Main again. We'll, we'll well, hold on, but when we say hold off, does that mean we just kick it down the road next year, two years from now? What do we do? I mean, well, he said right here we don't have the money. What do you say? We, we have the money to do the armor. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's well, guys. We have to put in perspective. This is this right here is life or death. Mm -hmm. The armory is, and again, I will support the armory, but the armory is a pleasure. It's not a vital core function of government. No, <laughs> it's not. I mean, I'll be the first to say that. I, li and, I like it, but it's not a vital core function of government. The bad thing is, though, it takes a life to be lost, such as on Nottaway Avenue, to actually get money from the government. That's the problem, and it's sad. And it could be somebody in your family that's a good Yeah. The reason I say your money is tight because we still have to do the section of South Main from six to eight. We've been awarded four hundred fifty-eight thousand dollar grant to go basically just past community convenience to that ditch line between Rick's yep. Auto and Community Convenience, and I am going to put that money aside. And I'm not saying we go apply for it right now, but I don't want to put it when we said, "Oh, let's just table." I want us to have a plan. I was just thinking about revisit I, next month. Is what I was thinking I about. Want to, about. I don't want us to just go. Oh, yeah. no. If you're you jets, you didn't know the you know snap <laughs> them off. Then everybody. Philip decide where you make some cuts and come back next month. But it's just, like, I can do this project a lot cheaper. Well, right. figure it out, but don't wait years, please. No, I can do this for less than eight hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Well, when okay. you figure out what that is, you come back. Come back and let us know. Let's, let's do have this on the agenda under information for next month. Just to, 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 we don't want to kick it down the road. Next is information for the Rigglesworth uh, Sidewalk to Schools grant, the TAP 21. We're just waiting for bids coming in on July 25th. That's a really nice project. Uh, utility upgrade, that's just update on the East End uh, project. What, are we looking at a, uh, what's the estimated completion date on phase one? I know we've got some housing rehab to do, but what, what are we thinking about? Phase one at East End being done. Uh, phase one, we have a two-year limit from the day okay. we got under contract, and we got under contract, I guess, early this summer. Okay. So we don't have to be done with phase two. The water, sewer, and curb and gutter, drainage improvements, those will be done. The water and sewer will be done in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they're on F Street going to the Chicken Hatchery, and then they're going to come back, and they got two blocks of Broad Street between Epps and Dillard. Uh, the curb and gutter, uh, we're waiting Jason's. You guys have approved it. We received the bids. We're waiting on Jason to submit his performance bonds and all that kind of stuff. And once that gets started, then he can get started down there. If you ever want Jason work, they're, they're going to go pretty quick. That curve and gutter is probably going to go a lot quicker than that sewer. Mm -hmm. That's good. I hope so. <laughs> oh, that's so good. We have a two-year obligation to finish that. And in the meantime, Yvonne has uh, uh, gotten together. And we are uh, uh, with Southside Outreach. We did have a rehab and management team meeting. Uh, that was held on July 9th, and there are five homes that are recommended for work. They are out to bid right now. We've got some work to do. Uh, we did a survey on the, the house on Eubank Street. We uh, have some asbestos we have to get. I think they were, the asbestos guys were in the area, I think, one of, I want to say yesterday. They were in the area Saturday, and I forgot to tell you, Vaughn, uh, to call them. And therefore, we had uh, a little bit of I don't think the asbestos guys were actually physically here. I think some of the property owners were coordinated with Yvonne to do that. My bad, so we're going to try to get on Friday afternoon. To get I ran into somebody I hadn't seen in a long time for crew, Robbie Williams, who works for B&B, spoke very highly of town staff. I ran into him at the Richmond, Richmond's Creamery Saturday night. I, I didn't know he was working for B&B. He, he has used to work for Vita. Yeah, and then DEQ. Yeah, yeah, good guy, good guy. Uh, rental property maintenance, we sure took care of that tonight. Uh, weatherization, we've got a home on Carver Street that's been put on hold. Some title issues. Okay. So I think we're going to hold on that one for now, and then uh, I think we're going to try to look at another house maybe on history. What in, in the budget that took effect July 1st, how many, we had how much money set aside for weatherization? Put 50 in the budget. We had 31 left from last year. So 81 is available. I haven't put the 50 in yet. Okay. We've got to put the cash All in, right. but the budget okay. says 50. So that might do us two or three homes this year, or maybe more. It depends on the needs. As long as you don't get a full rebuild. Right. Right. But until I've got more cash put into the kitty, then we need to focus on truly I doing know. weatherization. I got a it's question. Like, yeah, I agree. You know, uh, when y'all say weatherization, I think y'all. And you're right. You're right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go over. Yeah, I think y'all go over. <laughs> Here's the problem. We want to do insulation, and we want to get people's light bills down. That's the whole reason we do it. We take money from our light department, and when people get $700 light bills, let's put a better heating system. Let's get 200 amp service. Let's put insulation. The problem is, if you remember the house on Stoke Street, that was a weatherization project. We took the siding off and went, oh, oh crap. God, it's not the sewer. Yeah, 60 I mean, grand. The house's dock is worse than we necessarily.
of a thing. When you look at them from the outside, they don't look too bad. You get up under them, yikes. And uh, that's how that one that we started and we picked that one with a vision. We'd love to replace one of Two or three of them a year. Right. But I think what happens if we get into them, do we want to sit back and say, well, we're going to put insulation in this house, but the roof leaks like You can do it halfway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tom Taylor has a question. Yeah. Thank God you fixed that morning on Harris Street. I say a prayer every day thinking I, I do. I, I express, I'm grateful every day for that. I do have uh, one issue that Yvonne, she received proposals for weatherization, the housing inspection portion of it. We've advertised. Okay. Uh, we received one response back, and that's the same fellow who's been doing it, Earl Howerton. Love him. And we didn't have it on the agenda, but if you would uh, allow us to enter into contract with Howerton's inspection services. That's not the Southside Outreach Group? or Two different groups. Two different groups, okay. The same people. Okay, Earl, Earl and Earlene, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Right. I entertain a motion to that effect. Well, what is the price? Yeah, What's the price? I mean, what, what, what? There is no price. This is based on uh, appraisal and qualification. I can't tell you exactly what he charges per house. So it will come, I mean, if it, it'll yeah, be brought before. I can't, uh, yeah. I mean, I can come back and tell you it's $80 an hour or $200 per house. But he's been he's been lawfully procured. He's okay. met okay, very good. I entertain a motion to procure. I'll come back and tell you what he Senate. All right. Second that motion. Second. All right, Ms. Jones is second the motion. This is to to re enter a contract, re enter into agreement with what's it called? The South Side Howerton, Howerton Inspection Howerton. Services. Would it be crazy to say at the same price that it had been previously? I don't have any expectation, but yeah. yeah. Just make sure that we get going to report to council on the price. And we, yeah. all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. The ayes have it. We'll roll through this under new business. You have a grant from the Burn Justice Grant Program. For the police department for equipment. Um, Three thousand ninety-four dollars. Asking authorization to execute. And I looked everywhere. What is what kind of equipment? I saw it nothing. Say. You his radar, isn't it? It doesn't say specific, but it, if you read the agreement, it does say that specifically that. Uh, the vest. uniform uh, requirement. Uh, oh, it's vest? Specifically approved purchase okay. item. So I don't know what she wants to spend the $3,000 on, but it's uh, burn grants are usually for equipment purchases. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. To accept the grant. Second. Motion made and second to accept the grant for $3,094. All in favor say aye. Aye. Um, opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, new business number two. I'm trying to find it. This is a DMV uh, renewing the DMV select agreement, which the town manager recommends approval. That's DMV here at our town office. A couple changes. Um, they, uh, from now on, out of state dealers who send their title work to be done here, the DMV has been paying to send it back. Now that will no longer be the case. We'll have to come up with a policy. And we do get some out of state dealers that send us an appreciable number of tags if they're you know, close to the Virginia line. And they'll now have to pay for the shipping, the UPS, the uh, FedEx. Um, the other item, and I didn't know this, um, but we are now allowed by this agreement to title and do the title work on our own vehicle. That makes sense. I read that. that that's, I'm glad they did that. No need for us to have to drive. I can't say we hadn't already done so. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Ask for forgiveness. I think we're approved now. All right. Uh, I'd entertain a motion to approve the DMV agreement that we do every year. Second. Motion been made by Ms. Hasbrook, second by Mr. Morgan. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? A motion is 7 0. Uh, the town manager under new number three, under new business, is asking that we adopt the capital improvement plan, which is ambitious. Very. Obviously, it's not something we ever really get around to doing all of the things, but he's got it in the budget, which I, I commend him for. There's um, a purpose for it, and the, the reason we're asking you guys to, to specifically approve this thing is because several of our grant applications specifically require us to have it in an adopted capital improvement plan. And those are specific to the street department. The other things are, you know, town purchases, but when we go to VDOT for a 50-50 grant, we have to report that it's in our capital improvement plan. Under, and I'm just picking not because of the building, but library. It's got a new building, no price on that, but renovation. And then the next line is upgrade restaurant. I mean, all within by next year. They were at, those are requests as made by the department. We didn't change the year. Okay. Um, even the fire truck. I had recommended 2024 because we were going to have one fire truck paid off and another. And Philip Arms and Dion made an appeal. Man, we kind of need that truck sooner than that. So uh, I think we changed it from 2024. So just because it's on here doesn't mean we're doing it. 
So like what you're asking is why would you do new bathrooms if you're going to rebuild the building? Right. right. Yeah. And two things called me, and I, like I said, don't, I'm not picking the fire department, but I was surprised that $80,000 is in this budget for, for bay exhaust. You know, in the capital improvement plan, huh? capital improvement plan, and then the forty-five thousand for the bay floors. So that's something that was not done when we built the station. Apparently, it wasn't, it wasn't done, and I think we fixed the slick problems. Yeah, what they're considering. It's slick when it gets humid. Man, in there. if you run in there with a pair of flip flops or <laughs> people Crocs on and the, floor, and the floor is wet, it's just like stepping on the ice. Bridging the killing, so I think they had to call the squad. Yeah, they did. So that's important. That's the request is to do the entire base floor. And I think forty four thousand. There were a couple different options like a, a two year warranty, a three year, five year warranty. That was Very good. Top, so. Do y'all want to approve this for the town manager? Second. Second. Because the figure is way, it's about $9.2 million worth of goodies in there, which are available for public inspection. I'll ask for a roll call vote starting with Ms. Jones. Aye. 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 Motion carries seven zero. And just in case you're wondering, there's nothing in there arm in there for the armory. <laughs> and we might think we're hi hiding money. Um, that would be a full full born discussion. Uh, under mayor's minute, uh, there's no committee referrals. Under mayor's minute, the only thing I want to do is continue to uh, say good things about the, the fire department. Had one of its most elaborate funerals, I think, probably since the, the Jimmy Ragsdale funeral it was top notch. It was well done and. Uh, even though you didn't know Buzz that well, if you didn't know Buzz that well, they hear that siren go in the bagpipes at the same time was probably one of the more moving moments I can remember in a long time. We have had a lot of, a lot of uh, too many pretty funerals this year, in my personal opinion. Just, just we've had a lot of loss this year. Um, I have nothing else other than if, Ms. Madam Clerk. Real quick, if you want to read this just for the public's view, because you did skip that earlier. Oh, we have a structure at 610 Broad Street, which is going to be East Broad Street, scheduled for demolition immediately following the transfer of that property to the Southside Outreach Group, and that's going to be by mid-August. We skipped that. And that was the request last month that the town pay it, pay it half mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. pay. And Southside Outreach pay half. Correct. Yeah. This is the building. Well, the tip, that, when you say pay half, that's the cost of the... No, the town is providing the demolition. We're doing the demo. Okay. We're paying $4,500 for the purchase of the property, and Southside Outreach is matching the $4,500. But you said it was only for a grand Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great to work We're for. We're using them for the Southside Outreach. Okay. Southside Outreach is providing the demolition. 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 Anything you heard tonight? We had some rather sharp exchanges tonight. Yes, Ms. Beverly Ayers of the Chamber. This, this is an answer to something that we had talked about earlier. Okay. Um, the Hunt County Heroes banner? Yes. I did check into that for you. Okay. It's in our packet, yes. Yes. Um, is it in your packet? Yes, we, 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 we have it. What would you do without the family? Oh, you've done that stuff too? Mm -hmm. that's, that's mm -hmm. But no, it's, it's a great program. We're going we're gonna to try to get at least try to get at least 20 at $100 each. Per family, um, somebody wants to nominate or have a banner for their Uncle Ted or whatever, or uh, Aunt Susie, it'll be, they'll pay the town hall. Zach, Zach's heading it up. Yes. It's still under committees, so you might not have seen where it would have. I'm going to say something for Zach, and I want to remind everybody, very important, some of y'all will laugh, including I used to be a laugher about this too. Tuesday, July 30th, right where we sit, it's 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., Blackstone's Tourism Committee, I'm a member. Zach's a member as well. We're going to have a um, Sandra Tanner is going to be here basically seeking input from residents. What does Blackstone need? What do you think Blackstone needs more of to bring people to tourism here? 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, July 30th. It's open house format. You don't have to just come. You can come and walk in here for 15 minutes, five minutes, or two hours, whatever you want. So uh, it'd be nice to have a good town representation that day. Um, I have nothing else. If anyone else says it, we don't have a closed session. Oh, Ms. Christine, yes. Do we have some uh, an agenda set for our retreat? Uh, it, uh, what is, how is that going to be convened? I thought we start by like falling back in each other's arms. I thought that'd be a. <laughs> <laughs> we need. Well, but seriously, well, what are some things? Do you have some suggestions? I mean, I've, I've been to one or two of these before, not with this council, but other people. I think we need to have an agenda. A team building exercise would be good. Um, we got planned lunch. Yes, absolutely, so absolutely. We um, but there's, you know, we need some issues like how we come to consensus on things. Mm -hmm. True. That would be good. Um, yeah, and you know, let's face it, uh, and different councils have their different preferences. I'm not a stickler on parliamentary procedure like tonight. I let people speak in the audience as long as I know they're being heard by the recorder and everybody in the chambers. Um, we had some give and take tonight, but I, I you know, I think that's what small towns are for. Um, 
we have our goals that we set, how are we going to proceed with those goals, what uh, um, the town manager had about the, the, the funding, having a timeline, mm -hmm. having a timeline how we're doing these goals will be really important. And one of the things I like to hear also, not just from colleagues, but I like staff. If staff thinks that collectively council members and or mayor could be more hands-on or you know, maybe we have a work session every quarter. But any, we're open. We want to hear from y'all too. Is hey, what, what do we do well? What something we work on better? Um, so just free flow of information. But I think it's important. If you don't have agenda, we'll get in there and just get lost for four or five hours. Right. And if you need a facilitator, we could get somebody to be like the scribe to keep things. Keep things I think we'll need that. On track. Mm -hmm. Taylor? Well, I've seen your husband do that and do a very good job of that. He said he would volunteer. I, I was, he's the first person I thought of. If, if, if no one has objections and Jim is agreeable, it's October 5th. I, I think Jim would be great at that. I watched him do facilitator for somebody, um, but he was great at it. So, anything else for the good of the cause? Yeah, we know. I, I, I'm sorry, let me get Zach. I'll get you. Zach Whitlow. From what I understood with the hometown heroes, was that what's called the new banner discussion? DEI? Responsible for finding the people to be on there. I think we did. Were you here when we talked about? Just recently. Um, uh, I, I think the intention was maybe you can help us with it. And I talked to you one time before you asked if you. Yeah, we would. I just didn't know if you like if we were taking the whole project. Was that a offer? <laughs> well, I'll help you. All right. <laughs> I predict once you get the word out, you'll have you have to cap it at forty banners. You're good at making this year. posters and stuff. Oh, the town is paying for these banners. Or? No, no, if you want, it, no, it's basically you, if someone. This is y'all correct me if I'm wrong. If if, 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 if my if my aunt served in World War II or Korea and I want to honor her, Aunt Betty, I've got to pay a hundred dollars, and there'll be some format where it'll say Betty Colburn. United States Army, Korea, or something like that. You actually got the guy's picture. The and you have a picture. Jennifer, yes. has, okay. Jennifer has a good form Yeah, okay. the and previous Walter, people. And Walter Mack made a suggestion in one of the committee meetings um, that perhaps, and you are good with the flyers and stuff, put a flyer in the utility bills for people to see mm -hmm. it. And, right. So and then they, and they can be alive. It doesn't mean they, they, can, they can be a living or deceased, right? Yeah. If you Say, put the honor flyer in there, then everybody okay. will know about it and they can contact mm -hmm. Excellent. You're a great facilitator. We thank y'all. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. I'm going to declare the meeting adjourned at 948 again. That seems to be our little go home time. <laughs>